Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the uh, Lois Spanx uh, Ministry. I am your host, Nurse uh, Lois. Um, I just want to say a uh, welcome to all of my uh, new subscribers. Um, I read your comments and thank you so much for your feedback. Um, I did uh, reply back and um, I love I love the uh, positive uh, feedback and learning about your dreams and how God is talking to you and how you are encouraged uh, spiritually. Um, today I felt led to um, talk about uh, a part of my healing ministry as a licensed nurse and as a uh, believer in Christ Jesus and my Father God. Um, I, to, to share how my product line uh, was birthed and how my company uh, health for health products for the world um, was uh, created. Well, first of all, I want to start back from the beginning. Um, before I became a nurse, I was a stay-at-home mom. Um, God kept me home uh, raising uh, my family. My family was my first ministry. I took care of my family, okay? That's just how God led me to do. And I obeyed the Lord. And then uh, as my children grew up, uh, later on, the Lord sent me to school. He actually gave me a dream, and he told me to go back to school, he even showed me uh, what I should be studying in school. So um, I you know, took my interest exam, um, passed that, and I even had to take a psychological exam um, back in the 90s whenever nurses be uh, whenever student nurses decided to go to nursing school we had to take you know a math test science test an interest exam to see if we have you know a certain amount of uh, college prep knowledge uh, to even enter uh, nursing school and then we also had to take a psychological test uh, in front of psychologists where we were psychologically tested to make sure we weren't crazy okay um, so yeah I went through all that testing and training then I also had to go get uh, my blood work done um, the nurses um, who taught at the school had to look at all of our blood work, look at our health status to see where we, we where our ha health status laid uh, and see how healthy we were as we were going through nursing school. So yeah, I went through stringent uh, preparation uh, to get into uh, nursing school. I was had to be tested in three different areas, my, my physical health, my psychological health, and then my uh, aptitude, you know, what I learned in, um, as far as my math and my sciences uh, were concerned and my reading comprehension. So past all those tests, was um, I was accepted into nursing school and um, I went through training, you know. Um, when I uh, finished my nursing uh, training, uh, God began to deal with me that he needed to teach me about how to walk in divine health his way that the training that i received as a nurse was going to be very useful and very helpful for identifying uh diseases in people and uh you know understanding side effects to uh drugs and what have you and I, it would be very beneficial for me, you know, when I get out into the world and I use my nursing license to help the help humanity, you know, because I did sit down and take my uh, state boards. I passed my state boards the first time and I have been a licensed nurse for over, uh, you know, 26 years. I'm on the administrative side of nursing now. I pay my dues. I've paid at least 20 plus years in on the floor as a nurse uh, doing patient care. So... I pay my dues and so now I'm on the administrative side of nursing um, I did earn a bachelor's degree in a master uh, degree so you know God did prepare me a well uh, for nursing and um, for uh, you know uh, flowing in my uh, healing ministry you know nurses when we um, 
sit down and take our state boards um, it is to prove that we're not gonna go out there in the world and kill anybody okay they want to make sure we have enough knowledge to protect society and not hurt them so I take uh, that same uh, philosophy and that concept into my healing ministry that's why uh, you see me give a lot of warnings uh, in my ministry where um, I'm telling you, you know, okay, there's a plague out there. Just don't go out there any old kind of crazy way because, uh, you know, nurses, we take a vow. We take a vow to God. We stand before God and we take a vow to do no harm to humanity. So I have a heart of compassion. I was called uh, to nursing. I was called um, into the healing ministry. I am in my call. This is what I am supposed to be doing um, for the Lord. And so, you know, you'll hear me give a lot of warnings about, okay, stop eating all that meat. I don't care what they they talking about out there. I don't care what doctors and scientists are talking about out there. God says stop eating all that meat. Because God used the meat to shorten the lifespan of man because he said that Man, his heart is always evil continually before him. So he's going to short man's life to 120 years. And then Satan got up in there and said, let me start feeding them meat three times a day. Oh yeah, meat tastes good. It's very addictive and it will shorten your life and um, open up every sickness and disease known to man, to humanity, to you. That's why I've been fussing at people who are on that keto diet. I don't care what them doctors are saying or what them scientists are saying. God said, stop doing that. Okay, you're going to lose the weight and end up on dialysis. Okay? So, you know, I stand in the office of a prophet. I'm a seer. So, not only do I have uh, medical training and skills, I can also deliver babies. Yes, I've been trained to deliver babies. Um, I also own um, a pharmacology license. Yes, I know drugs, signs and symptoms of drugs. So I own, I have a, a nursing license and a pharmacology, a pharmacology uh, license. I have uh, two degrees. God trained me well. He trained me well. And so when I uh, got out of nursing school, God sent me to a whole lot of uh, nutritional seminars. This is prior to the way prior to the uh, pandemic went into a, so many different nutritional uh, seminars learning how to eat properly according to the word of the living God. So anything that comes from a seed uh, according to the book of Genesis and in the book of Daniel, anything that comes from a seed um, will produce life and be a blessing uh, to your body. The original diet for humanity uh, came in the Garden of Eden when God created everything in that garden that came from a seed. God created garden for a darn reason, okay? Stick with the script. I don't care what the world is telling you. You have to renew your mind in your spirit uh, in, in the word of the living God, the Old Testament and the New Testament, okay? And so because I have a scientific mind, I'm very, very curious. I'll test God's word. And the first area where I tested was, let me see what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego experienced when they came off of the meat uh, and they were tested for 10 days and they ate everything that came from a seed. They called pulse, everything that came from a seed. Um, and they drank water. So they ate all whole, whole, you know, the fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds and grains and drank water and they didn't eat any meat that came from the king's table. I said, let me see what happens to my body when I stop eating meat for 10 days. So I stopped eating meat, testing the word of the living God, and I found out that God's word is true. Your flesh appears fatter and healthier than people who, who eat meat. And then all that uric acid from the meat, uric acid is a, a byproduct of meat consumption all that uric acid comes pouring out of your body it flushes out of your body god begins to renew your body and your health and your strength you know the years that the meat consumption took away god begins to add more years back to your body because you remove uh, all that meat uh, consumption 
and uh god put uh protein in all all uh uh plant life so you one of the biggest lies is out there where you're gonna get your protein your protein is already in plant life god was smarter than what humanity will give him credit for okay there's protein in all plant life so I just wanted to make sure um, I share my uh, humble beginnings and where I got started. Um, I, ha I had to renew my nursing license in natural health. The Holy Spirit was guiding me so that I can learn how to line up to the word of the living God in the Bible as far as how to walk in the divine health, how to add years uh, to, to a person's life and how to walk in the promises of God for healing. And I, I discovered that when people eat natural plant-based uh, foods, that you know, you're not gonna die of heart attack and strokes and kidney failure and uh, diabetes and high blood pressure. All those diseases are not associated with uh, plant life consumption because it lines up to the word of the living God. You can be completely uh, healthy and whole. And when it's time for you to go home to be with your father in heaven, you could be completely healthy and whole and it'll just be your time and you're ready to go home to, to spend time with your father God uh, for eternity. We have someone in our family. My aunt told me passed away like that. Nothing wrong with her, okay? But when it was time for her to go home, you know she went home the right way that is the right way being jacked up in your body that don't even line up to the word um, of the living God and if you don't study God's word for real for real you're gonna miss how to live inside of your body and how to um, experience uh, divine health the way that God uh, planned so I'm all into let's see how the word of god functions let's see how it works let me see on my body what happens when i remove the meat and i'm telling you when i remove the meat out of my body and i experienced increased health and blessings in my body i knew the truth i knew the truth so um i you know i i just want to encourage everybody to you know pull out your bible read it don't don't just read it test it test and see that the word of god um is true um i have uh people connected to me on social media telling me that they changed how they ate uh their their meals now uh one particular uh a friend connection um that i met on my social media platform didn't say anything to me for years but just you know like my my post and then this particular person reached out to me and never met him in person. He told me he lost over 200 pounds. He was 300 and something pounds, lost 200 pounds because he changed how he ate and that what I was saying encouraged his spirit to make lifestyle changes and to love himself and take better care of himself with knowledge based on God's word. Uh, the doctors weaned him off of many of his medications. He said he feels so much better uh in his body and he looks fat fantabulous do you hear me i said wow you just never know the power um of social media and what it can do and so i have many many praise reports from people um around the world who are connected to my ministry of what me sharing health information and knowledge and pictures of my meals on social media uh has helped people do you know um get get victory uh in their lives but i wanted to give you that backstory about how i even got started uh in nursing and in in the healing ministry that god uh has given to me so uh backtrack a couple years ago my daughter my youngest daughter and i were on vacation i was in atlanta this was before covid even uh hit and it was a uh, in the earth and when i'm on vacation I, I still go to church i like to worship god if there's a church a spirit filled church near me i i'm gonna seek out you know the house of the living god and get into the presence of god in a, a church setting this is what's prior to covid right now to, during covid i, I don't do that 
I don't gather with a lot of people, but uh yeah i was on vacation and i went to a church where one of my friends uh attended i always wanted to go to her church because she talked so much about a church i wanted to finally have an opportunity to go to her church so i went to her church the man of god did not know me His, the first lady didn't know me they flowed in prophetic gifts and they began to minister to me i stood up in the altar threw my hands up to the lord as they were speaking oh, the word of the living god prophetically to me and the word was for me to start my own product line um because god had blessed me with cures uh, for humanity and i was just uh, amazed and excited about what god was saying to me um I did my research, found a company that produces uh, dietary supplements. I uh, had a meeting with them. I, I actually drove to Georgia, met with the owner. He took me on a tour because I wanted to see their quality control measures. I wanted to make sure whatever it is that I produced for the kingdom of Christ and for the world met quality standards, and it did. I knew what I was looking for as a licensed nurse. I'm actually on um, the quality control and population unit uh, for the company that I currently uh, work for. And so I was excited about taking the tour. I was excited that uh, the CEO was uh, willing to work with me as a licensed nurse um, and help me uh, obey God. And I did what God said to do. I mean, um, for the past 26 uh, years and counting, God has been sending people to me with terminal cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, you know, breast cancer, blood cancer, colon cancer, uh, all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. Because you know, when people know that you're a nurse, they'll reach out to you and ask you you know for advice or what to do and um i tell people okay get permission to work uh, with your doctor because all we're going to be doing is changing how you're eating adding essential nutrients uh, based on the word of god we're not going to be dealing with anything else we're just changing how we're eating changing how we're hydrating our body and we're going to be lining our eating habits up to the word of the living god and eating foods that come from a seed to watch sicknesses and diseases reverse itself turn around and leave the body so i have that type of experience where i've seen all so many types of i don't care what the sickness is when people remove that darn meat okay and people start eating foods that come from a seed that are not sprayed with toxic chemicals and start drinking plenty of distilled water. Y'all, diseases flush straight up out the body because it's in alignment to the word of the living God uh, in the Bible. That's what's so fascinating to me um, about uh, God. So getting back to my product. So um the first product that god asked me to create um it's called a genesis 129 straight up out the bible because when you go to that scripture there is truth in eating foods that come from a seed i have seeds uh inside of this product and i have vitamin d because vitamin d uh prevents death uh and I don't care if you're terminal, I don't care what's going on in, in your body. If you have uh, low vitamin D levels, your, your immune system is not strong. Uh, vitamin D prevents death. So I have a vitamin D in here. I got seeds in here. I have natural uh, 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 essential nutrients in my product called uh, Genesis uh, 129. And a lot of cancer patients uh, take that. Uh, product with their doctor's uh, permission and cancer cells completely dissolve and come straight up out the body because those are the nutrients that the Father God told me that the body needs to prevent cancer and to destroy cancer his way because God's way don't put you in congestive heart failure God's way don't destroy all of your healthy cells God's way only targets 
um, disease cells and keeps the rest of your cells completely healthy and whole. And I always tell people, I don't care what they diagnose with, I say, come off the meat. That is uh, one of the key things I tell people, come up all that meat because you're eating too much meat. Over the years, you didn't eat meat two and three times a day for so many years. You, you, with lack of knowledge, took years off your own life and you didn't know it. And it, that's because, especially in the church, we need, we need health ministries. We need uh, people who have been trained in the medical area and who's been trained in God's word and seeking God and seeking truth um, to let people know. Because the church is not supposed to be sick and jacked up in their body. They're not. They are not. And often I find that people who um, are not believers in Christ Jesus, uh, but who believe in the Father God, they believe the Bible about nutrition more than Christians do. Unfortunately, it's true unfortunately it's true it's sad but it's true um and so i wanted to make sure that i stopped by and shared that particular product with you and then um the second product god asked me to create is called psalm 91 um and that particular uh product uh destroys all plagues all plagues i don't care what variant the plague is it will get rid of plagues in your body so you see how good and kind god is to me and toward my family me and my family we both all of us we take this product as a uh, preventative uh maintenance we do not play it came straight out of the instructions um of god and so you know me and my family are blessed and we are highly highly favored uh in the earth to do um, a special work and to represent God uh, with excellence. And so the third product that God asked me to create is called Beautiful. It is a hair growth oil. God personally spoke to me in my dream and told me this specific oil will grow hair down to the floor. And so I had to go do research on this hair. Um, God called it the, uh, the tree of life oil had never heard of the tree of life oil before I did research on it and come to find out it's a tree of life in Africa it's found in Africa how about that okay and um, there's a tree of life in Africa I found the oil um, got with a uh, company um, that's uh, a sister company to my healthcare company uh, where they produce uh, dietary supplements and we created uh, the, the oil that God gave me in my dream to grow hair all the way down uh, to the ground. And so uh, while I was on vacation, you know, God began to deal, deal with me about how our hair, you know, it needs uh, moisture uh, African American hair needs moisture um, as well as the oils because our hair texture, uh, God made our hair texture a special, special way. And so we have to know how to take care of it. And God continues to grow me and share information with me. And so, um, you know, uh, I talked about how it, our hair needs to be moist and how God's been telling me for the last four or five days to make sure every day that I add water to it from the shower. I don't wash it every day, but I just add water to it to hold the moisture. And then I put the um, plastic cap um, on my hair to seal in the moisture as I'm sleeping. And um, I've just been um, obedient to the Lord. So out of that obedience, God gave me an idea for a special water that's going to have a special um, a flower uh, inside of the water for people to spray on their hair to hold uh, the moisture. So I will be producing uh, more health products uh, for the world and, as, and for um, myself and my family. And then, um, you know, I, I'm going to be working on a... Um, uh, vitamin and mineral lines to target uh, the hair 
uh, the nutrients that God has pointed out to me that will be a blessing not only for the hair but for the whole entire body you know in Ezekiel 47 12 God talks about how there's healing in the leaves of herbs and so you know uh, my products uh, have you know herbs inside of it so I always tell people you know make sure you get permission from your uh, doctor to uh, take my products because some of you are on medication and uh, you definitely have to make sure you get permission from your doctor um, before you you take my products but I can tell you this, if your doctor tells you, yes, you can take my products, guess what? You're going to end up being weaned off your medication with your doctor's permission. You always do things with your doctor's permission. I am a licensed nurse. I work with doctors. I work with doctors, not against them. I work with them. So this is Lois Banks coming to you uh, from the Lois Banks uh, Ministry. Um, I, know, I just felt led to share this information. I have new people who have subscribed to my channel and I just wanted to share um, a message of what my uh, YouTube channel uh, is all about. It's all about being a blessing to the world, taking all of the gifts that God has placed inside of me and being a blessing uh, to the world and of course, you know you want to uh you want to eat right you you want to eat foods that come from a seed uh, that's not genetically uh, modified you don't want to put stuff that have been genetically modified in your body you want to stick with the script script of the bible okay um and eat foods that came from a seed so uh, this is lois banks coming to you from the lois banks ministry you want to make sure you hydrate hydrate not only your hair but the inside of your body you should be drinking uh, plenty of distilled water not that sink water but uh, distilled water um, with your doctor's permission some of you are on fluid restrictions and you can't have uh, so much uh, fluid intake but whatever fluid intake you take in make sure it's water stay away from the pops and and all that kind of nonsense uh your body needs water to uh stay hydrated to flush out your kidneys to flush out uh toxic uh poisons so this again is uh nurse lois uh coming to you from um the lois banks ministry i'm just sitting out on my front porch soaking in the gentle sun rays the gentle sun rays is good for the body I, you're not supposed to sit out in the hot sun but the gentle sun rays early in the morning is an excellent way to detoxify uh any sickness and the diseases in your bloodstream remove it will remove uh, any form of disease that's how powerful and healing Oh, the sun is. Um, I've learned all this stuff from God. God is teaching me his natural and his uh, supernatural uh, laws. And so I wanted to make sure that I stay in my lane and uh, continue to share knowledge and information uh, with the world. And I have people reach out to me from Russia, from uh, Italy, from Switzerland, from Sweden I mean I have friends that have been connected to me for years on my social media platform where God has done something special for them health wise uh, through uh, the healing ministry that he's given to me um, as a, a licensed nurse so uh, again you know I took a vow before God uh, at my nursing graduation to do no harm uh, to humanity so the information that I'm going to share with you is always to protect you and to do no harm to you okay I I'm going to obey God and honor the word of the living God uh, in my life I'm going to make sure what I tell you lines up to the word of the living God and so you you can't go wrong doing stuff God's way okay so listen, I want you to be encouraged. 
I want you to know that you can reverse any form of sickness and diseases in your body. You can walk in divine health uh, with knowledge. And um, I encourage you to uh, work on yourself. If you fall off the wagon and you don't quite get it right, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat up on yourself. Just get back up again. Ask God to help you remain disciplined and you keep going. You keep practicing, taking excellent care of your health and your body and you will master it. You will come to a day where you master being disciplined and taking excellent care of the temple of God so that you can do all the things that God has created you to do in the earth. Okay, so this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. If you want to learn more about me and my products, you can go out to www.nurselois.com and learn more about me and my products and uh, my ministry and what I do uh, for God and for the world. Uh, I want everybody to have a blessed, blessed, prosperous day uh, financially in your family in your relationships with people and uh in your in your body god bless you